everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is April 10th and I am participating in the Spring To It Videothon hosted by Danny Buxton and a couple of other people. I will leave like all the information linked down below in case you want to follow it. But pretty much um, what it is is like daily prompts for the month of April. Um, just, you know, for, to, for video content, you know? Um, so today's prompt is the last five books that I purchased. So, one of the last books that I purchased is A Whole New World by Liz Braswell. And this is, um, it's like Aladdin reverse. Um, Jafar gets the lamp instead, and Jasmine and Aladdin have to unite the people of Agrabah, um, um, into like a, a rebellion against Jafar. So, it's just like, you know, it's like just a twist on the original story. So, that just seemed fun. And I also picked up Once Upon a Dream by Liz Braswell. This is, um, Sleeping Beauty. It's a, like a reverse. Um, so the prince comes and he kisses Sleeping Beauty and he falls asleep too. And so, so now both of them um, are in this like dream world of sorts and they, they have to try to figure out uh, like how, how to get out of it, how to wake up, how to wake up. <laughs> so I don't know. It just seemed, seemed really, really interesting. There's some, there's some betrayals going on, I think, and all that stuff. Next, I got Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames, and this follows a washed up band of old mercenaries um, who, who come together to help rescue one of the old um, members, um, his daughter. She is uh, I think trapped in a town besieged by like monsters and all this other stuff. Um, so it's supposed to be like pretty humorous. Um, and it, like it, like I said, it follows um, a group of older men. So that, that, that's just really interesting to me. So, And then for the fourth book, I got City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. And so I don't know a whole bunch about this book. So I looked into it. Um, I know it takes place in 18th. 18th century Cairo and follows a girl who accidentally summons a Jinn warrior and I think she finds out she's Jinn too or part Jinn and kind of like how do you deal with that so that's all I know <laughs> and then for the fifth book I got Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi um and so this is a this is an own voices story um with think West African influences. Um, I'm not 100% hundred percent sure about that part, but I know like there's um, African mythology and things like that woven into the world. Um, I heard some really, really amazing things. Um, but it follows a young girl named Zelly who remembers when magic was flesh. Like there was magic in the land, there was magic in the people, magic was everywhere. She also remembers when magic disappeared. So she, I believe she has magic, um, and so her and a rogue princess, they go on a run, on the run, <laughs> from, like, uh, from the prince, who, like his father, the king, wants to just completely eradicate all magic, um, and they're trying to find a way to bring magic back to the people and to the land, um, so they, they have to face the prince, they have to make, face dangerous creatures and spirits to reach their goal. Like, I, I've heard beautiful, amazing things about this book, and I'm super excited to get into it. All right, that is it for this video. Um, like I said, I will leave Danny Buxton and the rest of the hosts their um, information for the Spring To It Videothon down below, um, as well as the, the prompts for the rest of the month in case you want to join in. I'm pretty sure they, you know, they'd love that. My Twitter and Goodreads accounts will be linked down below in case you want to follow me on any other social media for bookish life random things. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you later.